I, oh yeah, I do remember saying that. Saying this it. is a song I learned, but I didn't touch it for so long that it's I had to rescue it out of the rust bucket. Okay. It's um, Dad Gad. Mm -hmm. Pete Hutlinger arranged it. And there's a few spots in this that I don't know if you can help me with. I just okay. can't stretch. Oh, okay. I can't reach, so I let go and cheat and move where I don't think I'm supposed to yet. Yeah, and there are times that you can that you have to do that, and you can get away with it and make it work. You know, um, if uh, so. Anyway, yeah. We'll, so we'll it, see if we can make that happen. Most arrangements don't tell you where to move your hand to go from one position to another, and that's where I falter because I can never figure it out. Mm. And I'm trying to do these impossible fingerings where it's like, oh, just move your hand up there and do it like that. Ah. And then it's like, oh, well, that's so much easier. But I cannot. Some reason I can't get that on my own. Okay. Somebody has to tell me. Yeah. And you know, sometimes, um, sometimes the tablature to these things is wrong, where they've got a note on the wrong string, because sometimes it was auto-created by mm -hmm. the, a program that said, oh, you're going to play that note here, and it might, anyway. So and it works better to play the same note on the other string. Yeah, thing. yeah. Because yeah. I've seen that actually in some of Pete's arrangements, where it's like, wait, he's, here's the same phrase he just played a minute ago, he did not play it two different ways the same in the same song you know that's just dumb yeah you know so um but yeah are you in dad yet now yes okay good let's start with this then so even right there you know what that stretch right there is looks a little not like not quite comfortable well i learned to lean my hand back and yeah. reach it that way try with your wrist a little bit lower so if your if your wrist were down here more like that and then do the same leaning kind of back for that note yeah i'm not doing this yeah thing. yeah like having this a little further away from the neck now, I don't know if that's going to make it any easier or not yet, but we can talk about that, you know. a video of him playing it yeah but not not recently I listen to it so that I can hear what it sounds like and then I just try to make what I play sound like his yeah um, so since I've learned it I don't think I've really studied his hand position okay yeah because um, something that's really hard to tell from well, really impossible from tablature is how long to hold a note down for or or how long or when, or when to let go of it even though it's easy to hold down and you know some of those decisions are are things you could maybe see by by watching um, him as right. as he's playing it. Does music notation have ties though to show that somewhat? Well, it does, but it still matter. leaves a little bit to be desired because the whole the whole thing with the guitar is it's a polyphonic instrument. You can have more than one note sounding at a time, and you, you can have as many as six. And then you know sometimes you've got more than one voice going on at a time too. So even for example. If I'm just playing a simple finger picking thing, and I'm keeping these two bass notes going back and forth. Well, like right there, these two bass notes, they're not quarter notes. But that's what the way they're going to be written in the music, because this one doesn't stop when this one rings. Okay. They right? overlap. They overlap. So really, this one this one is always a half note ringing until I hit this one again, and this one's half notes in like another so voice. They're, they're like this. Yeah, they're they're out of you know out of sequence or out of out of sync, right? So already the bass part is not just one voice; it's really two voices, you know. And to accurately represent that in music, we'd have to use two voices for the bass, and then probably two more for the melody, because usually you've got melody notes and then filler notes that happen in there.